Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm gonna do a performance review of iOS 18.4 Beta 1. Now I installed this update back on Friday when it came out, been running it ever since. And if you wanna learn more about this update, come over here to Apple Developers website and you can learn everything that you want to learn, know everything that you want to know about this update and future updates as well. All right, so let's get down to business. So a good friend of mine, a while back, talked to me into installing or joining the beta program on iOS, and I did. I was skeptical at first, and a lot of people have also asked me if they should do it, and I'll tell you right now. The answer will be yes. I use my iPhone for everything, everything business-related in my life. The most important is my money apps. The money apps work just fine, and the most important Apple apps that I use work flawlessly there's, there's never any problems so if you're thinking about installing if you're thinking about joining the beta program with uh with apple ios ipad os all that i recommend you do it it's really cool it's nice to get the latest and greatest updates and i like doing it anyway so as far as the performance review goes of this the performance of ios 18.4 beta 1 uh it's just fine there's been no, then again, I wanted to say something real quick. If you look at some of the release notes, it'll say some of the things that it fixed. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm lucky. I don't have issues on my phones, right? Usually my phones always work. And for example, Apple Music, it always works the way it's intended. And the next funny thing is, I always think this is funny about using an iPhone. If you ever like use a Pixel phone and this, might be a little bit controversial here. If you ever use a Pixel phone, you'll notice that the Google apps don't always work the way they're supposed to. Well, on an iPhone, the Google apps work perfectly, and if anything, they work they, they work better than on an Android phone a lot of the times. And one of my biggest complaints is YouTube Music's not always working the way it's supposed to work on on a Pixel phone. But anyway, I digress. Uh, everything on here, like I said, is, is working fine. Uh, call quality is good. There was a modem update in this iOS 18.4 beta one update. So there was an update to the modem. So then again, I've never had any issues with call quality or getting messages, nothing like that. Uh, everything's working really, really well. So if you're thinking of installing this update right here, I highly recommend you do. There shouldn't be any issues at all. It did not bring the updated or the upgraded Siri that we're all kind of waiting for, that we're wanting. But on that same note as well, Siri in its current iteration is not is not bad at all. And I'm totally digging it, so there's never any issues. You saw it come on right there. It's ready to get to work. And I mostly use Siri for little things like uh, Apple reminders mostly. If uh, <laughs> I love Apple reminders, stuff like that. So anyway, scale of one to ten on the performance review, the performance side of the house. I'm giving this update a total ten. All right. So all right, everybody, take care.